once you've got people engaged, once you've got people interested, once you've got people interacting with the data, then you begin to establish this culture within the organization of making decisions around the data or the processes that are in place have to support the data entry and the cleanliness of the data and maintaining the data and the accessibility and the security of the data. And all of that starts to kind of change the way that the company functions, mostly in a positive way. Um, I, I haven't seen it where it's, it's you know, it, grossly negative. It, it's going to be a little more cumbersome in some ways, but the, the input side of it um, becomes way more important than a lot of people used to actually realize. And then when they move all the way through from like the cultural part of it is they're not running by intuition, or as I say, flying by gut feel, they're look, they're, they're flying by instrumentation and it, mm -hmm. and it will accelerate the things in a company that, um, that matter because that's what they say that which gets measured uh, gets done. Right. And so mm -hmm. that's, that's kind of like the next step is that now you begin to establish this, this data culture. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah, so I think when it comes to establishing a culture of data, um, once users start using the, the reports, even beyond a POC, um, it kind of, to a degree, gives them a sense of ownership of the data. I've had, for example, I've had a client where it was the, the backend data was all Excel files in SharePoint and it was just an absolute mess. But this particular um, point of contact on the client side decided, hey, I want this to be efficient. I want this to be accurate. I want this to be clean and easy to refresh and maintain. So she went ahead and actually cleaned up all of the backend data on her own time, cleaned it. And now the report is actually refreshing as it should without failure. And the data is actually good quality data. Um, and this report is being viewed by their VPs, um, actually all the way up to the C-suite. Um, and there has, everybody's just been like super stoked about it. Yeah. And, uh, we, we talk a lot about, um, reliability, which is kind of what Christian was, uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of hinting towards, um, reliability in the data is, is something that really drives user adoption. And, you know, it's one thing for users to see, um, kind of a simulacrum of their KPIs and metrics implemented in a proof of concept. But when it really comes down to it, what Power BI is meant for is driving business decisions. And you can't make well-informed decisions with, you know, unreliable data. So establishing a culture of, you know, uh, data cleanliness and, uh, you know, data action um, really is talking about um, increasing the reliability of data because there, we've encountered so many organizations that uh, the executives want nothing more than to rely on pulling up a report in the middle of a meeting. But if the data isn't reliable, then you know they 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 can't really trust it too much. And to ensure you have a reliable data set or uh, report, really comes down to how much are you willing to uh, put forth to make sure that your backend architectures. Uh, the processes you have on handling this data is sanitary and is, you know, uh, is generating clean data. And one thing I've noticed is there are two approaches really for um, adopting a culture of data. One, you know, is the classic way of high spend, high reward, you know, uh, but there's also a lot of uh, organizations out there that we've worked with that have a lot of success in, you know, using the tools they have available to them uh, through whether it's like into you know, the power platform with O365 or um, any developers they may have on staff. Um, a very low spend is kind of required for a lot of uh, sanitization processes for their ETL pipelines. And it's really just the willingness to put forth the effort on uh, adopting that data culture, streamlining a lot of processes, making sure your data is clean, and that really increases reliability and therefore um, makes users um, rely a little bit more on the data. It it really doesn't have to be a large amount of uh, spend either. It's, uh, it's I, one thing I, we have to reiterate. Yeah, and, I, and what I what I want to know is how much uh, is Daniel going to get from Christian for using the word simulacrum in a sentence? <laughs> um, <laughs>